What is the total amount of wealth held by millionaires across the world? The figure is quite astonishing and unbelievable. According to Credit Suisse, the global economy is worth $102.4 trillion. How crazy is that? The year 2022 is here, and many of us are going to begin thinking about our finances. You may wish to raise your net worth or perhaps become wealthy. For many people, financial independence is a goal. It usually entails having enough savings, investments, and cash on hand. After all, becoming wealthy will provide you with additional options, as well as financial security. And, of course, you would have more money to spend on the things you really desire as well as a growing nest egg that will allow you to retire or follow the career of your choice without being constrained by a yearly salary. Human beings are creatures of habit, and many of us are in debt. What habits have led us to this point? How did we get into a state of worry over credit card bills, loan repayment, and avoiding debt collector calls? It was mostly a question of routine. In actuality, it is arguable that there are no secrets to becoming wealthy, and if you take the time to understand them, you too could be on your way to building wealth. Our experts acknowledged that tried and true methods are usually the best bet. Business owners and entrepreneurs are in an excellent position to grow wealth and become wealthy, but this is not a get-rich-quick plan. The majority of self-made billionaires have amassed their fortune through their businesses and they have, of course, developed some habits. And today, we are going to list five of those habits that you don't want to miss. Who knows, maybe one of you will be the next billionaire and you will never have to work another day in your life. Number one, not being dependent on anyone. It's always nice to have people who have your back, a family to whom you can turn when you're in trouble, and friends who are always by your side. But the reality of life is that you cannot always rely on other people, and this is not because they're awful people. It's because they have their own lives and obligations to attend to. Human relationships are, in fact, complicated since we humans are emotional beings. People might be friends for years and then stop speaking because of a single negative experience. You want to be sure that you can always make a clean break and rely on yourself no matter what happens. That is not to say that you should isolate yourself and avoid social contact. However, everyone, particularly you, must be aware that you can always rely on yourself. That is, without a doubt, one of the most potent and powerful traits somebody can acquire. In fact, research shows that those who are more self-reliant are more appealing. Number two, have the ability to take criticism. It's happened to all of us at some point. You have slaved over something, a presentation, a design, a product concept, whatever only to have someone point out a problem or suggest a better option. It's much harder when the person you're talking to is someone you respect or who you're expected to guide. Worst case scenario, when you're certain they are correct. It can sting for sure. The good news is that dealing with criticism is a skill that can be cultivated through practice and knowledge, just like any other skill. In the workplace, constructive criticism is an important tool for people to learn and improve. However, many people are unaware of what a valuable resource it may be. The truth is that constructive criticism and feedback may help us all succeed at work and in life. Receiving feedback, whether positive or negative, is beneficial since it demonstrates that your peers care about your future and want to assist you in learning. These folks believe you are the perfect person for the position and want you on their team rather than letting you fail and replacing you. With a little help, you will be a better fit for your job and learn a few things in the process. Number three, know what work should be delegated. The transfer of responsibility for specific duties from one person to another is referred to as delegation. Most people realize too late is that they cannot go very far on their own. Managers free up time to focus on higher value operations by delegating specific responsibilities to team members while also keeping employees motivated with increased autonomy. CEOs that thrive at delegating produce 33% more revenue, according to a Gallup survey. Several other day-to-day -day actions, on the other hand, do not necessitate your supervision. Is there a task you consistently do despite the fact that your coworker is better qualified to do so? Is it possible that delegating the project to other staff will help them advance their careers? Delegate if you think someone else could handle the job better, or if you think this is an instructive moment. It will demonstrate your trust and appreciation for your staff, while also allowing you to devote more time to more strategic projects. 
CEOs can then devote their attention to areas that will generate the most profit and help the firm develop. Number four, being mentally strong. Mentally strong people believe that having a positive attitude puts them in control of their situations. They apply the same idea to their finances as well. In fact, studies have shown that nearly all lucrative people have a positive attitude. You too can walk in their footsteps. It's been proven that speaking your goals with confidence helps you better ingrain positivity in your brain and stick to your plans. Once you have got those good feelings going, write down your objectives so you can track your progress throughout the year. It appears to be all in one's head. While scholars and philosophers dispute whether any of us has the right to be wealthy in a world where millions are hungry, Steve writes, the world-class thinker continues to move closer to the level of prosperity they have convinced themselves they deserve. This is why some of the sharpest people are among the poorest, while ordinary intellect people amass riches. It's not about what happens to you, but rather how you react to it. A wise man once stated, this is a bit of a stretch, but it's true. Do you know, 10,000 hours are required to master any skill. You will be tired and drained throughout the race, but those with mental toughness will see it through to the conclusion. I'm sure by now you have already subscribed to our channel. If not, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe to our channel before we move on to the last one. Number five, time makes money, so make money while you have the time. We have come across a number of books and articles on how to live a successful life in the previous two years or so. Elon Musk, Tony Robbins, Brian Tracy, and Oprah Winfrey have all been featured in those books and articles. Each of these individuals has taken its own path to success, but one trait they all share is the ability to manage their time well. Ever heard of that phrase that goes, work smarter, not harder, that's the whole point. This will assist you in comprehending why time management is critical in the long term. The most significant reason for time management is that if something is not on your calendar, you should not do it. As a result, time blocking is necessary. Everything should be written down on your calendar. Block out every moment of your day and regard each time block as a deadline you must meet. From waking up to drinking your coffee to getting ready for work to client meetings. Have you ever heard someone complaining about being late for a date? People always make it on time. How? It's all about inspiring yourself to complete a task. On that note, we introduce you to the Pomodoro Technique. It's a time management technique that allows you to finish a certain amount of chores while simultaneously taking a short break at the conclusion of each period. Is not that amazing? In a word, we whine a lot about not having enough time, but we don't plan ahead of time. You must set priorities for your time. While you were flawlessly managing your time to view this video, ladies and gentlemen, those were the top five habits, which are the essential habits that you need to follow in 2022, and who knows? You could become the next successful person. Please share this video because he who serves the most reaps the most, as we all know. What habits do you have that keep you going? Tell us in the comments section below and push the bell icon below so that you never miss a video from us.